go back in here tonight and relocate these bucks. Get a better look at them. Yep, we're one, gonna do it. One looks pretty nice, but we're gonna get a better look at them. So we're gonna get back in here. They're bedded in there, so hopefully they'll turn up tonight. We'll get some eyes on them. Here we go. There's the threes in the front. Yeah, there's like there's a couple little there's a couple little uh, little bucks with them. See that four point? That four point's walking. He's going to start feeding. They don't even know we're here. That, that three point's walking away. Yeah, he's a little inside of his ears. They're, yeah, they're all just kind of uh, medium-sized bugs. We're gonna we're gonna chill, stay warm by this fire right here. We're drinking a cold beer because we earned it today. Yep. And I sat in the truck. And then uh. <laughs> We'll uh, get after it tomorrow, see what we can turn up. Hopefully we'll find, a, find some bigger bucks and uh, that'll be it. See you guys tomorrow. Hanging out with my client Ron. And I killed that lion a few days ago and we are, uh, we're making some lion back straps. Never tried lion before, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out what it tastes like, Aaron. Right, yeah. So we'll um, get, can't wait. get this whipped up here and see if it's uh some people say it's good and some people i don't know so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try it out ourselves so don't go anywhere there it is Close half a line of this line a little bit of oil kind of looks like pork meat salt and pepper we'll give them a, we'll give them a try all right we just fried them up got a couple cooling we're gonna give it a shot. Moment of truth. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mountain lion, first bite. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's like a like a white a white like, meat like pork, like almost like a pork. It's actually pretty good. Heck yeah, awesome. It's way up there. Try to put him to bed and let oh Don put the hammer down on him. Good morning, guys. It's day four. We got Don, Eddie, my other my uh, Ron, my client that I've been running with for a few days is back there. But we found these bucks this morning, mm -hmm. and um, Eddie and Don are going after it. We're gonna make it happen. Finally got them to go down, bed down. They went where we didn't want them to go. Yeah. Well, it's just a longer hike. That's all. So we'll die either way. Don's gonna go smoke a mealy. Right on. You ready, buddy? Yep. I'm ready, buddy. All right. We're gonna watch you guys go up there. Thanks, homie. We're gonna hold that. Reload. 
take your power out. Send the shot right there, right on his shoulder. He's sliding under the tree. He's on the edge of the bluff. He's gonna fall. He's falling down. Get down. Get ready. All right, guys. Hey, here's a good buddy of mine, and actually the very first client we ever ran with CISO, Mr. Don. Uh, got it done today, day what four, I think it is, right? Yep, day four. Day four, tagged out on his nice mule deer buck. He shot this buck at 490 yards, which is the furthest shot Don's ever ever taken on an animal. But congratulations, buddy. Thank awesome you. job. Thank you, Willie. Now we get to now we get to get to work, guys. All the fun gets to stop. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. One. Here's, here's uh, Don's buck. Congrats, Don. Thank you very much. It's Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks for all the help. It's awesome. Starting to get a little almond nose on him, huh? Yeah. Pretty face. Pretty buck. Split ear. Eddie, Eddie ran the video out there. Ended up falling off of a cliff. I'm surprised he didn't bust his antlers up. That's awesome. Yeah, I think he, he which one was it? I think it was that one. Was it? Yep. Pull here. This yep. Split. And he's got a split ear. Show him that split ear, Eddie. There it is. That thing is split like big time split. That's crazy. Coyote rutting. Yep. Coyote rutting. But heck yeah, Don. Way to get it. Way to get it done. Thanks again, man. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Now, now, uh, Ron's up next. We'll get it done. We're going out tomorrow. We're gonna get Ron one. Yeah, that one in the middle right there, dude. He, he's a stud. And you gotta think, that's, that's a mile and a half away. Well, that one in the middle is above 150. He's pushing that one, he's pushing that 160, 165 bracket. Yeah, I mean, looking from here, I'm, I'm confident they're in the 150 for sure. That one, in the, be better, but that one in the back is 150. I can't see his. I can get glimpses of his fork makeup, but his frame, his wise. frames, yeah. at least a one. I can't see how deep those forks are though. That's the thing. So if he's got any decent fork to him at all, he'll be pushing. The middle buck, it looks like his back forks are kind of weak, but he's definitely got the mass. That one in the back looks like he might be a three. Is he a four? Spark I found over here is just a huge forkhorn and he's with another smaller forkhorn. But Eddie, Eddie's on the the moon goggles over here and just spotted three bucks and two of them are nice. But they're like a mile and a half away. So we're gonna keep our eyes on them, see where they bed and hopefully oh, hopefully make a they're gonna, they're gonna hook down into that bottom canyon. Are they gonna hook down? Gonna hook Heck down. yeah, they're hooking down in the canyon. <sighs> so here we go, Ron. That's the best one we've seen. That's right, buddy. Wait, it's going to be a chore to get this, to get him out of there, but we'll, okay. we'll, we'll deal with that later. We'll, we we deal with the it's grind later. Time. Yeah. So, see one. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna see if we can make a play on these big boys. We're at the end of the road. The end, end of the road, it's a rough ride in here. Well, we got those two nice mealy bucks glossed up that Eddie found this morning. We drove around, we kind of think we know where they're bedded. Hopefully they're in there. Hopefully we can, we're gonna hike up. We're gonna hike up there. We got about a mile push back in there. See if we can't turn them up in their bed and get Ron to get the hammer down. Let's do it. Ready? Do it, man. Where? Here we go, guys. Well, after three hours of glass and I finally, I finally turned up these bucks. I just called Eddie, he's coming down with Ron. Good morning guys. Today is day seven. It's the last day of Ron's hunt. Um, I have to check my lion in. 
I have to get out of here today. So Eddie took him out this morning. It's his last day. We got on these bucks last night, had them doped out, had the Kestrel going, and they never stepped out. The wind died down. We were just waiting for them to step out, and they wouldn't. So we had a long hike out of there in the dark, got in late last night, ate some food, and crashed. But epic, epic six days. Ron, you're a great outdoorsman, classy guy. I appreciate you coming out here and hunting with us this week. It's been an honor to have you out here, and I hope you come back out again. And I hope you get a big one today. I know you've been waiting. You passed a lot of bucks, and you've just you've done an outstanding job this week. So I wish you the best. Fingers crossed. I hope you slam one today on your last day, guys. I'm cleaning up camp. Just cleaning some stuff up. I'm rolling out. Get this line checked in, and then we're on to the next one. So good luck, Ron. Hope you slam a big one, buddy.